What is up, YouTube? It's Mikasa Coffee back at it again, as always. A reaction video a day, or two, or three, or four, however many I decide to do, keeps the doctor away. Fuck all your apples. Listen, <laughs> I wanted to do something funny for Labor Day, and I decided, after watching the second part of Ryan Upchurch's Lacquer. Lacquer Thinner Larry, whatever the fuck this guy's. That's a, that's a stupid ass fucking name. Just <laughs> right out the gate, let's start there. <laughs> Ryan Upchurch literally made video roasts for this man. I watched a 26 minute long one last night, and I laughed so fucking hard that I had to watch the last half of it later on because I couldn't stop laughing at the first half. So, Ryan, you're fucking hilarious, my guy. <laughs> he fucking slayed that man. So, let's, let's fucking see what, what started all of this in the first place, Ryan. Jeez. You didn't have to do my mans like that, I don't think, at least. Holy fuck. <sighs> well, let's see what we got. Happy Labor Day, everybody. <laughs> this is the first response to Lacquer Thinner Larry by Ryan Upchurch. Bro, I get the most random best content ever, bro. Hello and welcome to Ryan, are you low-key like a metal singer, dude? Because those gutturals, like your <clears throat> like that shit is... Are you low-key like a metal singer, my guy? George's YouTube page. Today we are starring Wild Bill's uncle brother, and his name is Lacquer Thinner Larry. All right, Lacquer Thinner Larry, <laughs> say whatever it is you got to fucking say because you got this wild hair up your ass. Bro. You're gonna do my mass mean on this one, man. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe I can talk to you this way. I mean, yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. Like <laughs> he said, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ryan, you gotta slow down, my guy. You gotta slow down. <laughs> you can't block me on here. It don't matter if I block you or not, Lacquer Thin or Larry. I can't even kill your career. It hasn't even come alive yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is about to get main. You can't make me take the video down. Oh, yeah, well, you can't ride and pop right from where you can't blow up right and blow So the truth and the facts will still be here. So either way. And I don't care if you respond. No, no, you care. You care. You care a lot. He definitely cares. <laughs> this video right now. What up, sugar? What up, sugar? What up? You want to fucking see some me, motherfucker? I see you out there riding your little four wheelers, living your little life. I got a little dish and a little bitty fun. It's all right. So, I did read the description before I watched this. Uh, this this man like sent you a shirt with one of your dead relatives on it? What the fuck, bruh? Who does that? Who does that? Lacquer Thinner Larry, what is wrong with you? You fucking crazy psycho motherfucker. <laughs> Be little bitty. This guy needs a pussy and some titties. That's cool. Anyway, anyway, so let's just talk about this little shirt situation first. Dark bite. Dark bite. Well, no, hold on. We're going to push that back. Uh, do, you, do you even know what you're going to fuck? Do, do you, like, try to plan out what you're going to say, Lacquer Thunder Larry? Like, do you think that's how this fucking shit works? It's called a reaction video, and that's for a reason. It's called a YouTube video for a reason. It's because you just go off. Lacquer Thinner Larry, fuck you, my guy. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to ahead and get to the juicy part where you knitted me a shirt with your Martha Stewart ass, and I told you I didn't fucking want it. 
bruh, you're a fucking adult. You have tattoos all over you. I'm crying because you didn't get to get me a shirt. Just a little bit. We're going to talk about KDL. Hell yeah. I'm so glad we're getting to talk about something that happened like two or three years ago that I fucking put all over Facebook and everyone else I want to see. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Bro, you should really, like, look in the book and, you know what I'm saying, going to Cali and being a fucking director, bro. I mean, this is some Steven Spielberg shit right now, bro. Curveball like a motherfucker. Remember KDL where you started a riot? Yes. But yet, still, you wanted all the fans to be safe? Yes. But you lied to them and didn't come back on the stage. We started the riot. We put everybody in danger. Fuck yeah, the Motley Crue shit. We were all in danger after that. Uh, no, the real men were probably knocking people out. You were just probably like, Oh my god, save me! Thanks for that, he said, Oh my god, save me! <laughs> Ryan, my guy, you're too fucking funny. You gotta slow down. <laughs> you're welcome, Lacker Center, Larry. And who was that guy? Who was that guy that gave you that video evidence that you needed? Shit, brother, I ain't know. It was you telling who it was. I ain't got a complaint. I mean, I don't think it helped your ass out any because you still had to pay a whole bunch of money, didn't you? Shit, I don't know. Probably. I don't fucking remember. Yeah. That had to hurt the pocketbook. <laughs> if I don't remember, it probably wasn't that bad. But that was me. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. And I believe I still have the video where you sent me and you told me that all the time, VIP, just holla at your boy. You remember that? Hell yeah, the new Mortal Kombat just downloaded. Do I remember what? We're getting to what we were talking about. Probably not. Yeah, probably. Probably. Remember too much about the A1s that's been there from day one. Oh, I know all about the A1s from day one. But I also know about the ladies who are trained to be want to pay you for the video on YouTube to get paid. But anyway. But anyway. But anyway. But anyway, you should be a fucking lawyer, bro. Hey, so these little nut riders are hitting me up, by the way, making threats. How are you gonna sit here and call my fans nut riders when you're not riding hard up in the hardest nut rider that ever nut rode? Oh, so, you know, all these people you're sending to do harm to me? Yeah, I hope you know I summoned a whole truckload full of little yellow minions to come to your house and sneak down your chimney. Because, I mean, I do got the screenshot of you. Want to hang me from a cedar tree. Now, now, kerosene Larry, or whatever the fuck we were calling you a minute ago. You're lying. Because I got the screenshot, too. I said I would fuck you up with a cedar branch. This one, to be exact. I even stained it and everything. Look. <laughs> you see how sharp the end of it is? I made it like that on pipe this. Just like I took, just like I took, just like I took, got this, just like I took, I got the screenshots of your brother threatening me. Oh, boo your life's so hard. My fucking 14 year old brother is going to beat you up. And he probably can beat you up. I got all of <laughs> Larry, my guy, you bet off more than you could chew. Yeah, so we're good. Hell yeah, bro. That'll totally hold up in the principal's office. But, dang it. I saved your ass at KDL. Damn, I never knew that, bro. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And by the way, for y'all watching, an upchurch VIP pretty much consists of walking into the show free. You don't get to get nowhere near the motherfucker. He still hides back there. <laughs> oh, oh, what? What? Because famous people are just supposed to let you come up to them all the time, Larry? Really, Larry? Good God, I'm going to start calling you Carol. Okay, Carol. Fuck. You see, what he's trying to say is when my security guard sees someone, and they're like, <laughs> Yeah, you don't get to come in the back if you do stuff like that. I mean, I understand uh -huh. why you took a year off. I mean, there's a couple of venues you pretty much shit on. You smell that? And it didn't hold up to your obligations. Correct. You pissed a bunch of people off in Kentucky who wanted to kill you. Still alive. So you probably secluded yourself onto the ghost ranch and got all this protection around you, which maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe he is. Well, you're the next cool shapeshifter from a different dimension. Like Alex Jones said. Maybe 
be a twat. I'd prefer to be shit on out too. Maybe he's covering up something. Hmm? Yeah. We want to help me conspiracy together. I don't blame you. I mean, I've had a bunch of crazy motherfuckers. That's me too. I probably did the same thing. What the? Why you come into school with a sharp stick for? <coughs> to fight them all off. God. But anyways. I mean, yeah, maybe. No. Fuck it. Anyway. My God, did you really go outside to grab a fucking stick? Moving along, let's talk about this shirt that you were so disrespected by. For one, it wasn't your brother's place or your farmhand's place to have to handle your business. I wouldn't have had to message a whole bunch of people if you knew how to respond to fans, but you fucking don't. Do you realize uh, how crazy? Uh, hi, Ryan. <laughs> hi. <laughs> What's this fucking guy talking about? You responded to me. And I did the shipper two weeks before you did, my guy. Oh, Larry. Oh, Carol. Carol. You need to calm the fuck down. Calm down. Stop. This man's already killed you. Slow down. Hit the brake pads, buddy. You sound right now. It's not your place to say you like that shirt. It's not your place. It ain't anyone's place but yours, Ryan. Why are you breaking up with me? The only way you respond to people is either A, on your Facebook page where you can get all your nut riders to help you bash someone. Or also because Facebook's a better place if you don't want everyone to have your number. So it's dumbass. Or B, <laughs> on Instagram. Also, another place where you can communicate with people that's not your cell phone, dumbass. I mean, uh, excuse me. This is you. You still got the stick, oh, my guy. For you. You still, have still, still got the stick. It. It's like a sound uses this motherfucker. Get ready to shank this man. I'm going to go jack off in the corner. <laughs> Ryan, I can see you fucking smirking before I even hit play. <laughs> you about to kill this man. <laughs> what did you just say? That really good jack off in the corner. Woohoo! Parent of the year! I'm gonna go jack off in the corner. <laughs> I've seen you out there riding your little four wheelers, living your little life. Alright, so, like, which one is it? Do I stay in the house? So, the, yeah, if. Ron, oh my god, <laughs> how dumb is this man, <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna run out of time, I need to finish this fucking video, Ryan, come on, all the time, or do I ride four wheelers, or do you just stalk me every fucking day, but either way, the shirt was a picture of your grandfather, now I had no way of knowing if that was the actual obituary picture, because you don't respond to motherfuckers. Yeah, but then again, this goes back to the, like, not letting crazy people in the VIP section, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It goes back to that shit. Like, listen to this scenario. Hello, love church. I need to meet up with you. I need to give you this fucking shirt I made you. It's for your birthday. It's a picture of one of your dead relatives. I want you to have it. I don't know. I want you to buy it. Yeah, take his VIP passes away. I don't know why, but your ego is a little bit bigger than your fan base now. Yeah, I don't I don't think it was that. I think it was your bottom looking ass wife saying she was gonna fucking cast a spell on me, you crazy fuck. <laughs> but that's cool. I don't give a fuck how big your ego is, how big your fan base is. Well good, because I don't care how big the voodoo doll is of me, motherfucker. You know why? Because you're probably gonna pull the dick off of it and stick it in your mouth. I'm still gonna listen to your music. Yeah, all right. I'm still gonna oh, oh, yeah. I'm still I'm still gonna listen to your music, he said. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> Just so you know. And I hope that eats you up. I'm only gonna listen to it because it's free on YouTube. You see, we Oh wow. Oh wow. I could really free for people who can't afford it, and I'm only going to listen to it because it's free on you. Who is? 
Carol? Fuck you, Carol. Fuck you. I still get paid by the fucking internet government for the spin that you listen to my song for. So thank you and no thank you at the same fucking time. I wouldn't spend one, got one goddamn red cent on that. Well, no, but you'll friend. listen to it, huh? <laughs> Just so we're clear on that. Yeah, motherfucker. I don't fucking like you, but I'm, I'm still gonna listen to your fucking music and give you even more Spotify spins. Hope you're fucking pissed about it. I'm extremely angry. Never have, actually. Never will. Hell yeah, Borsky. And as far as your fans hitting up other people, how about you're going to sue over this shirt? Well, you can. Yo, I'm not going to sue you, you little fucking worm. Why in the fuck would I sue you for a shirt anyway? I wouldn't take that happiness away from you. You don't even have money to pay you. You're already fucking stapled the rest of your wardrobe to the goddamn wall. You can. The shirt was, that shirt, excuse me, the picture was sent to me through someone else. But here's here's my problem with it. It was disrespectful. You did it in a disrespectful fashion. You could have hit me up yourself as a man. Yeah, but that's what you don't understand. I don't have to fucking hit you up. Larry. All right, I'm done. Nope. Oh, well, there's 26 seconds left, and I do not need to even finish this. <laughs> Carol? <laughs> Listen, Carol. You want to know how to make a fucking video without even editing it? This. Me, motherfucker. This. Fucking get your shit straight. Good lord. Oh my god, Brian, I am so sorry you have to deal with this nonsense. My guy. Yeah. <laughs> Drop that like. Fuck your dislikes. Hit that subscribe button. Bang that notification bell. This is Mikasa Kabi. My music is in the description. As always, a reaction video a day will keep the doctor away. Fuck all of your apples. And fuck you too, Carol. I'm out.